Okay, I'm gonna do another video here of my tank. Uh, kind of give you an idea of what what fish I have in here. Um, obviously, they range in size from uh, real small to uh, you know some some pretty decent sized guys. Uh, my tank's only been up and running for about four months or so now. Um, so we'll give you an idea of pretty much some of the fish I have in here. Uh, this is a 125 setup. Uh, if you watch some of my other videos, I kind of give you an overview of uh, you know how I have it set up. Um, yes, those are live plants. There's some Java fern and some Anubis or uh, uh, Amazon sword. Um, they do pretty well in there. Uh, like I said in my other video, pretty much my bristle nose, which you can see one of them right there. It's my angel fin bristle nose. Uh, the bristle nose are the only ones that really mess with them. Uh, the fish tend to uh, to leave them alone. Um, you know, I got some wilt on some of my leaves. A couple of the plants are new. Uh, they were sitting out of the water. But uh, just give you a rough idea of what I have in here. Um, kind of scaring them around. They think they're getting fed and they're not. But uh, if you look in here, the light on my camera is kind of scaring everybody. But uh, I'll show you this little guy here. Uh, this is my deep water hat. Um, it's probably one of my favorite fish in here. Real, real beautiful markings. Um, you know, pretty cool fish. He's real small right now. He's got the yellow up on his fins. Uh, the other guy swimming here, it's a blue dolphin, uh, dolphin Morai. Um, you know, he kind of fluxes in color. I'm not really sure what he wants to do. Um, camo looking guy there, he's a living stone eye. Um, you know, he's one of the more timid fish in this tank. Um, kind of just does his own thing, stays away from everybody else. Um, look through here and see who else we got. Got my uh, yellow peacock, um, he's really beautiful. Uh, he tends to stay that color. He never really colors down. I've only seen him color down once or twice But uh, absolutely beautiful fish um, All my big guys are hiding um, You can see the Eureka red there. He's one of the two males. I have they're a little beat up. Uh, they were both beat up when I got them um, Trying to bring them back a little bit. Hopefully uh, Hopefully they turn out um, Do real well uh, You can see scaring the other two uh, my fluorescent, uh, fluorescent, sorry, uh, peacock. Um, he's he's a pretty boy again. I got him pretty much fully grown like that. Uh, he's gotten a little bit bigger. Uh, another one of the Eurekas. Um, I forget. He's not a actual Eureka red. Um, but and then some of the little guys you see in here that aren't really throwing color yet. Um, there's an Alana Cara, a sorry midnight. Um, he's one of the guys that's not throwing color yet. Um, there's a uh, Otopharynx Lithobate Z-Rock in there. Um, he's not really throwing color. I'm pretty sure that's him right there. Um, the color up and down. There's a Bicolor 500 in there too. He's not showing a lot of color yet. Um, same with the Alonokara Red Shoulder. Um, there's my Red Fin Borley Eye. He kind of came out. Beautiful fish. Big long fins. Uh, he's real skittish with the camera. He doesn't like the light. Um, a lot of them don't like the light. And then uh, in there somewhere is my Red Empress. Uh, it's one of these two. I'm not really showing color yet. Uh, I'm hoping they're males. Hopefully uh, they they color up. Uh, there's a lot of Cara uh, Gertrude. Um, he's in there somewhere. Again, he's not colored up. I'll do another video when some of these guys start to get a little bit bigger and throw some color. Um, there's a Lanakara Chitinde type yellowhead. Uh, again, he's one of the ones not throwing uh, a lot of color. You got a couple of these guys out here. There's my Dragon Blood. Um, he's doing really well. Again, he stays pretty colored up. He's afraid of the cameras too. But uh, uh, there's another shot of the, the yellow peacock. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Um, but uh, then. Uh, there's a, a Rhodesii in there. It's the other one that kind of looks like the Red Empress. Um, again, it's not throwing color yet. Uh, still a little too small. Um, then there's the Protomalus uh, Spilonotus. Um, it's a Mara Rock. Uh, he's one of the ones not showing color. There's my uh, uh, butterfly, uh, Pleco Bristlenose. Uh, you kind of see him every once in a while. Uh, again, sulfur head is another one of the, the little guys that uh, you know that hasn't thrown a lot of color yet. There's an OB peacock. Uh, I think that one's going to turn out to be a female. Um, not 
not not too sure. I think I might end up getting rid of that one. There's my big Taiwan Reef uh, male. Not throwing a lot of color right now. He kind of has his days. Some days he'll be bright and colorful. Uh, other days he just he doesn't want anything to do with being colorful. Uh, him and the electric blue ollie, which I don't see right now, kind of go at it all the time. Um, so I can kind of see him color up. There's my fluorescent male. I take it back. He just fled, but uh, you know, a little scared of, again of the light. Um, then uh, there's a lot of car, uh, uh, for Bergie. Uh, it's a Cape Maclear. Um, he's the one that I accidentally called a Eureka at first. I don't see him right this second. There's my uh, electric blue alley male. Real bright color, beautiful fish. He's really timid. Uh, you know, pretty much doesn't pick on anybody and nobody really picks on him. He stays away. There's, again, my uh, angel fin, bristlenose pleco. Uh, keep showing him a lot, a beautiful fish. Uh, the fish store down by me has quite a few of those. Um, again, I showed you the fluores fluorescent. And then I have a Nagara flame tail. Um, he's not showing color yet either. He's real small. He's getting beat up a lot at the fish store. Um, that's him right there. I'm hoping it's a him. A little black guy down there. Um, we'll find out here soon. And then uh, I got my sunshine. You saw the bang of sunshine. He's, uh, he's hiding right there in that corner. Um, he's been real colorful the past couple days. I don't know why he's real colored down today. I don't want anything to do with me today. And then there's a uh, blue albino peacock. He's actually right there. Can't get a real good shot of him. Again, he's really timid. Uh, doesn't like the light on my phone. But uh, I, I apologize for the quality here. Um, you know, it's, it's off my Samsung Galaxy S5, so um, there's my electric blue ollie. But um, like I said, once, once these guys start throwing a little bit more color, some of the smaller guys, uh, there's my fluorescent again. Uh, make another video. Um, tank kind of needs cleaned. I just rearranged all the rock and made a big mess. It's a little cloudy and it's a used tank. I bought it used. Glass has a lot of scratches in it. Kind of didn't make me happy, but um, yeah. If you guys have any questions about any of these guys or uh, you know want to know any more about them, this guy right here. I'm not too sure what he is. Uh, I got him down at the fish store. He's getting beat up. But uh, if anybody has any idea what he is, um, I'd definitely like to know. I've heard a couple people call him different things. It's tough to get a real good shot of him. He's blue, uh, you know, striped. But uh, he's, he gets chased around in here a lot. He doesn't really hold his own. He kind of hides up in the corner. Very timid, very timid fish. So, uh, but, all right, guys. Well, I uh, appreciate you guys watching my videos. And again, if you can help me with that fish, uh, Definitely appreciate it. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. All right, thanks, guys.